Josh Heinrichs is a soulful American reggae singer and songwriter from Springfield, Missouri. One of my favorite voices in the game, this man can sing. But don't just take my word for it. Josh threw on the matching shades and gifted highly recommended with a personalized recording of his song, Lifted. So check it out and stick around afterwards as we talk about what he's been up to lately, including recent tours, favorite music, hobbies, and of course, ganja. Guys, this is Josh Heinrichs and much love to Highly Recommended. The song is called Lifted. Amazing, man. Thank you so much. That was the song Lifted. You can find the original version on the self-titled Josh Heinrichs album released in 2021 and an acoustic version on the Acoustic Sesh album released in May of 2023. And now, let's hear from the man himself, Josh Heinrichs. Well, my name is Josh Heinrichs. I am a uh, reggae slash soul uh, singer, songwriter, I guess you could say. I have been doing uh, music since I was a teenager in the mid-90s. Um, I started uh, a band called Ja Roots in 2001 or 2002 and uh, was in that band till about 2008 and then I went solo and I've been touring and releasing albums like this ever since and I uh, haven't stopped. I have about 15 solo albums and uh, four or five albums with Ja Roots so uh, you can check them all out on Spotify and all that good stuff. Josh, I've been listening to your music since the Jaw Roots days. I still remember seeing you guys play at Wakarusa Music Festival in Lawrence, Kansas in 2008. I saw a post you made on social media about having been on hiatus from touring. What led to that hiatus, and what did you get up to during that time? I took a hiatus from touring uh, around the same time that Corona happened, obviously because nobody was touring at that time. I've always just kind of been a stay-at-home dad, and so I've never been a hard, hard hitter on touring like other bands that might tour eight, nine, ten months of the year. Um, I've always just, uh, you know, done tours here and there, like two weeks at a time, a week at a time here and there. But uh, I took the last couple of years off just because of, like I said, Corona, and my kids were making the transition from high school to college, and I wanted to be here to help out with anything that they might need help with. So uh, yeah, just been kind of being a stay-at-home dad, helping with all my kids doing stuff. But now they're all in college. And so uh, we're hitting it hard again, me and the wifey. I have the deepest respect for a man who puts his family first, and that's an honorable reason to limit the amount of time you put into touring. You just finished up a run in Florida. How was that tour, and what were your most memorable moments? It was great. Florida was great. It was great uh, to have a crowd there every night. People were singing along. The very first night it was a Tuesday night in uh, Melbourne, Florida, I think, at a place called Pineapples. and. Just, that's how I knew it was going to be a good tour. From the very first night, people were singing along. The crowd, the whole crowd was singing along to uh, Good Vibes and some other songs. I did six shows in a row. Uh, solo acoustic headline shows, which is uh, hard for me because I'm, if you know me, if you know how I sing live, I'm a very passionate, uh, 
hardcore singer. I, I go for it. Uh, very soulful, I guess is what you could say. And uh, it causes me to lose my voice after a few shows usually. But the icing on the cake to this is, like I said, my wife can now go with me. She's usually been a stay-at-home mom for the last 20 years. And so uh, now that the kids are in college, she's able to come with me now. And uh, so she was with me this whole tour. And for all six nights, she nurtured my, my voice, gave me all the right honeys, the right teas, everything I needed for my voice to keep it good and keep it fresh. And uh, I'm happy to say, man, I sing every single night like a bird, just perfect and awesome. And I was just so pleased and surprised with myself. So having my wife with me has been such a blessing. Uh, just to be able to look out in the crowd and see her always makes me happy. It makes me uh, perform better. Well, a huge shout out to your wife and shout out to Florida for showing up. I was tracking the updates from that tour and it was awesome to see all the love and support you were getting from the fans during that time. And I'm glad you were able to keep your voice going strong the whole time. Besides performing, what else did you get up to while you were out there in Florida? Uh, we did several things. Uh, we got to kayak while we were out there. We got to meet up with the Sunburn Cannabis Company uh, representative, one of the homie John and another representative. And uh, they gave us some rosin. They gave us a rosin pen, all kinds of goodies. So they kept us stocked up. We got to meet up with the fans after every single show. Uh, usually I do uh, meet and greets for the shows, but uh, for this tour I told everybody that we're not doing meet and greets, that since it's such intimate acoustic vibes every show, that uh, every show I just said, hey, after the show, if anybody wants to meet out in the parking lot, <laughs> I'd be happy to blaze up with you and uh, hang out, take a picture, chill, whatever. If you want to get an autograph, no big deal. So uh, after each show, the very first night, I think we had about 15 people out there after the show in a circle session it up. So that's pretty good. And I think by the last show, we had 20 people out there, 20 something plus people. So every night was awesome. That's really one of the most amazing things about the shows is just getting to meet the fans and hear people's stories and what songs they like and get to taste everybody's cool, nice ass medical herbs in Florida. So that's a great bonus to every show. Kayaking in Florida is so cool. I've done that out there too. And shout out to Sunburn Cannabis for hooking you up. And I know you said it was cool to meet the fans, but how cool is it for the fans that they get to hang out with you after the shows? That type of thing means a lot to us as fans, and it's one of the things that builds that loyal fan base. So props to you, man. Besides touring, what else did you get up to in 2023? Besides playing in Florida uh, recently this year, we've actually gotten to do uh, quite a few cool shows. And... Uh, I've actually done something that I haven't really done before in my 20 plus years of touring uh, this year. And I actually got to do it multiple times. Uh, four different times I, had, I got to judge cannabis cups or competitions this year. I got to fly all the way out to Guam for a uh, cannabis cup and judge their very first cannabis cup and perform there. It was awesome. The, the herb and the dabs and the rosin out in Guam is just fantastic. The second one I got to judge was the Hawaii Cannabis Cup in uh, Oahu, and that was just insane. I think uh, Guam and Hawaii, they think they each gave me, I don't know, between 30 and 60 different kinds of uh, flower, and probably between 10 and 20, 30 different kinds of rosins and edibles, and oh my God, it was insane. And then uh, we, uh, I, I got to go judge the uh, Michigan, a, a Michigan Cannabis Competition. And then I got to go judge a cannabis competition in Montana. So it's been a uh, pretty weedy year this year besides all the other shows that I've done, but at least those four uh, cannabis competitions were amazing to be a part of. They just hand you, you just get there and they hand you a bag full of weed, just like all, all like one gram, two gram weed bags, just like 30, 40, 50 of them all numbered. No, no labels, no names, nothing. You just write the number down and write what your opinion and everything. You know, they have all these different categories, but talk about one of the coolest experiences ever. I could be a, uh, if I ever quit playing music, I'll definitely be a weed judge <laughs> full time. I imagine it's probably a little overwhelming when they give you all those different samples and you only have a limited amount of time to try them out. But I also know that you're a beast when it comes to cannabis consumption, so maybe it's just business as usual for Josh Heinrichs. Now we already mentioned that you're from Missouri. Tell me more about your hometown and what are your favorite things about where you live? What do you get up to? 
Uh, I live in Springfield, Missouri. I'm from Springfield, Missouri my whole life. I was born and raised here. I'm 42 years old and I've never left. Uh, like I said, I've toured all over. I think I've been to every single state in the America. I haven't played Alaska, so there we go. But uh, I've been to Japan, I've been to Guam, I've been uh, so a bunch of places to play music, man. And uh, I'll tell you what, there's nothing like coming home to Springfield, Missouri to the Ozarks. And I absolutely love it. And uh, my kids love it here, my wife, my wife loves it here, and I don't think we'll ever leave. Um, it's just really peaceful, really beautiful here. Um, you get all four seasons, and so we all have kayaks, we all have bicycles, so we like to just hang out, go for walks, go to the park. We'll take uh, family uh, trips to the park with the dog, and we'll set up shop with some blankets and some cardos or some puffcos, and just sit there and blaze up and hang out and chill. We also like to go to the Blue Room Comedy Club, so big ups Blue Room Comedy Club. We have literally probably seen about 100 comedy acts there, if not more, and gotten to meet all kinds of famous people from... All, you name it it's crazy my friend owns that club and so that's one of our very favorite things to do is go see stand-up comedy on the weekends too sometimes we go to Kansas City or st. Louis and go see a, you know a cool concert or the art museums or go see a baseball game speaking of we also have the Springfield Cardinals here and we do that a lot too so uh, I almost became a season pass holder last year but I had too many goddamn shows <laughs> But maybe one of these days I'll slow down and just become a season pass holder to the Springfield Cardinals. I spend a lot of time at the Lake of the Ozarks myself, and the Ozarks is extremely beautiful. That's something that people who haven't been there may not realize. So thanks for helping put the Midwest on the map. What bands or musicians are you listening to most these days? I listen to a lot of um, reggae, of course. I listen to uh, a lot of jazz, uh, R&B soul music oldies yeah you name it I'm, I'm all over the place but uh, as far as reggae like what i've been listening to is um one of my very favorite albums from this year probably my most favorite album from this year has been uh maoli's uh maoli music overload album he's wearing a cowboy hat on the front of the album and dude that album is just Mwah! perfect it's like a perfect mix of uh country and reggae type meshed together in like the most soulful beautiful way and uh i guarantee if you listen to that album you'll find at first you'll find at least two or three of your favorite songs that you never heard before but then it'll just keep going the whole album will just grow on you it's amazing romaine virgo i love Roman. i love i just love singers i love uh chris senti i love uh, sizzla there's this band lab lab um, from New Zealand that I've been listening to, man, the guy's vocal is just amazing. It's, it, he's kind of similar to uh, Dallas from uh, Joe Dukey from uh, Fat Freddy's Drop. They kind of have a similar voice, but man, just the most soulful reggae. L.A.B. from uh, New Zealand. Check him out. Uh, Skill Ninja, my best friend, he's always releasing brand new music. I'm always jamming him. 77 Jefferson from Kansas City. Always jamming those, then they're my brothers. That's, that's some reggae I've been jamming. So a few of those artists, like Maoli and LAB, I didn't know about before, but I've been checking them out and I highly recommend the viewers do the same. Shout out to 77 Jefferson and Skillinja for also representing the Midwest. Now anyone that knows you or your music knows you love to puff herbs. And Missouri recently legalized recreational cannabis, which means easier access to all sorts of strains and products. Do you have any favorite strains or products at the moment? Yeah, uh, Missouri recently legalized cannabis recreationally, and it's been medical for a little while now, but now it's recreational, so that's even cooler. Uh, people aren't going to jail for herbs, that's the best. I love that. I've been working with uh, a couple brands this year already, doing some promo work and music work for them. I did a whole uh, pictorial campaign for Illicit, and I just did a uh, song for Buoyant Bob. That's going to be coming out soon. So we're heavily involved in the Missouri ganja game already. So my son actually works at a dispensary here in Springfield, Missouri at Green Light. So if you uh, are in Springfield or you come to Springfield Mo and you want to get some weed, go to Green Light in Springfield Mo. Go see Aston Heinrichs. That's my boy. He'll hook you up with the fire. 
Uh, yeah, we love weed out here, man. And uh, as far as my favorite herbs or how we do it, how we get down, um, I don't really smoke that much uh, flour. I mean, I'll smoke if somebody's passing the joint. Of course, I'll hit it. But uh, I'm not really a flour smoker. I'm a dabber. We love rosin. We love some some good dabs. If it's some good dabs, it's some good dabs. Uh, we love some good fire edibles, some good high MG edibles. Missouri's definitely got the herb game going on. One thing people ask me on the road all the time, like when I'm in Hawaii or California or Seattle or something, people are like, how's the weed in Missouri? Is it any good? And I just tell them, dude, you know that Missouri is a farm state, right? That's where you get your uh, vegetables, <laughs> right? And they're like, oh yeah. I'm like, well, baby, if you trust them to do your vegetables, you definitely trust them to do your weed because the weed out here is amazing that's right big up missouri ganja what a great point who better to trust to grow your herb than the farmers out here that already know what they're doing now you recently dropped the acoustic session album which is top shelf i love it i can't tell you how many times i've listened to it through already are you working on any other new music projects yes i uh recently did release the, the acoustic sesh album um and that's just a bunch of my favorite songs we redid in acoustic style because people kept asking me if we were going to ever release anything acoustic so that's just uh i think five songs of just me acoustic with my saxophone player ryan dunn and then uh, there's five other songs with me and Skelly together with our saxophone player Ryan Dunn. So check it out. Just a bunch of our favorite songs. Um, do I have any other new stuff coming out? I do have some new cool stuff coming out. I can't tell you what it is yet, but just stay tuned. I have a really, really, really dope cover coming out pretty soon that I'm excited about. But uh, I just also released this year. Uh, a song called You Can Heal Your Life, and that's with Enavision, who is currently nominated for a reggae Grammy. That's right, along with Kali Buds and the Kali Roots Rhythm. So uh, that's pretty cool. How cool is that? Uh, so go check that out. And uh, yeah, I have uh, another song out with Synergy called Smoke It Like It's Legal. And um, I'm sure I have some other new stuff out. I'm, I can't remember right off the top of my head, but just go check on Spotify and uh, go to the latest releases and you'll see. But uh, we definitely have some new cool stuff coming out, so be on the lookout. Yo, that saxophone on the Acoustic Sesh album was perfect. What a great addition to those tracks. The whole Acoustic Sesh album was on point. Nice work from you, Skilly, Ryan Dunn, and anyone else that was involved. I can't wait for the new music. Is there anything else you want to share with your fans? Thank you all for listening. Thank you for buying tickets. And I promise we will be probably coming to your city soon. We're working on booking, 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 and getting out there and getting more and more shows. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, sometimes whenever I play these solo acoustic shows, uh, I don't bring merch with me because I have to fly on an airplane with my guitar and my backpack or my suitcase full of my clothes for the week or two weeks or however long I'm gonna be out and so it's hard for me to bring another suitcase and walk through the airport especially if I only have like an hour in between flights and I gotta walk with two suitcases and a guitar full of merch and another suitcase so people are always like why don't you bring merch why don't you bring merch because if it's just me by myself that's too many suitcases and guitars and shit so if you want to check out my merch you can just go to joshheinrichs.com and go to my merch page we have way too much merch this is this is one thing this is one long sleeve shirt you can get of me holding the big old joint with the giant ganja trees in the backgrounds and the ufos yeah this is fire huh that's what i thought anyways we got lots of cool merch just want to let everybody know that joshheinrichs.com sorry i don't bring it to the live shows when i do solo acoustic shows but we love you thank you so much also, just want to say much love to Highly Recommended. Thank you so much, brother, for having me on. And thank you for the interest in the music and for supporting it. We love you. Keep checking out this channel. Keep following this channel. One love. I checked out your website and I put in an order for some shirts myself. And I can't wait to rock those. So for the viewers, go show some love and support. Do the same. Josh Heinrichs, you were truly one of a kind. Thank you so much. Stay highly recommended with us. Like, subscribe, follow, and all that good stuff. And we're out. Peace.